Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be attempting to shoot this monster. This is a Bowtech Destroyer 340, the 70 pound draw, which considering the fact there's no bears in this country is probably way overpowered. I actually have a problem drawing this bow. I think I need to turn it down. But in this video, I'm going to have a few shots at a new target that I've got and we'll see how I do if I can actually pull it back, hold it and fire it. Now you're probably just gonna say there's no need to have the arrow holder or all those arrows on there, but I want this to be set up and accurate as if I was actually hunting with it. And I do know that hunting with a bow is not legal in the UK. In any sort of crisis situation, it may become necessary. So I want it to be working right and for me to be able to use it as if it was a hunting situation. That's pretty important for me. It's just a basic skill to learn. Now the reason I'm learning this skill is just because it's an outdoor skill that I don't currently have. So you're probably gonna see me doing loads wrong um, and you can advise me on that. I am gonna go and take proper archery lessons but this is just a mess around in my garden. I've paced it out to the target, it's 25 meters or roughly 25 yards which is a decent distance. That's what I'd normally line up like an air rifle or something at. So let's see how I get on. That was miles low. <laughs> Hit the target though. better. Better again. In closer. That's ah, not bad, not bad. Let's go take a look. Yeah, that's not bad for an absolute beginner who has no idea about archery. They're all within about six inches, which is 15 centimeters of the absolute middle of the target. That's pretty good. I'll just show you how hard these arrows are hitting this target. Now I actually had this target specially made for me to be thicker than what you can normally buy because of the power of the bow. I wasn't expecting them to go this far through though. And that's got to be sticking through 10 inches maybe. And when I first set this up, when I first got it, I put it too close to my wall and actually broke two arrows with my first two shots because they just went straight through, hit the stone, pfft, smashed the ends. That's why it's a little bit away from the wall. Ridiculous power. Right, let's have another five shots, see if we can do better. Because I'm more tired now, I'll probably end up doing worse. God, I think I'm getting worse. Them 
five weren't too bad either. I'm gonna give it one more round of five, see if I can do any better with these ones. And um, I think I'll get my mate to come over. I've got a good friend who actually does Viking reenactments and he's got a couple of long bows. So although long bows are different to the compound bow, they take a lot of pulling back and I'm hoping he'll give me some good pointers as to the correct way to draw a bow because you've probably seen I'm struggling a little bit. I'll video that because we'll both shoot the targets, see what we're like for accuracy between the two bows and I'll have a go with the long bow as well. It's a traditionally made one so that should be interesting. I've got something to go on instead of this damper here which is it's almost like a rail mount that takes a torch or flashlight for nighttime shooting. So I'll also do another video once I get used to using this monster about shooting in the dark. See if I can hit the target using the flashlight attachment in the dark. That one will be coming up. But for the meantime, let's get on with our next round of five. That's my closest one so far. I haven't put any really crazy ones in yet. Or should I say out? I haven't put any crazy ones out yet. They're all not too far away. Bear in mind, you can see the distance. It's a good 25 yards. I think that's all right. You may tell me otherwise. <laughs> I believe I'm getting better. <laughs> Even after that horrendous pull, that's my best so far. But I can only get better. This is the bottom. I'll take any comments on board, any useful ones that is. Last one in the bullseye, come on. That's not bad. I'm, I'm pleased with that. You might think it's the worst archery you've ever seen, but I'm getting better. Drawing it is a little bit easier as well, although I am having a few problems when it gets right near the end of the draw. It's bouncing and it's knocking the arrow off the rest. Maybe I haven't got it perfectly level or maybe I'm just putting a little bit too much in at that point. I don't know. Maybe you can advise me on that because that is a problem. That, that's really not good. <laughs> if ever I did use this in a hunting situation, obviously it's going to be no good if I'm leaning back and going like that. If whatever it is I'm shooting at, it's just going to run away. I want to get the technique down perfect and I suppose that's only going to come with practice. But as far as technique goes, I just want to give props to a channel called Twig and Archery Outdoors. There's a lad on there who does a lot of fly fishing and he's also into his bow hunting as well in the US. Now he did a video about the correct way to draw a bow. That's what I've tr been trying to do based on the way he showed it. He made it look a hell of a lot easier than me. So either I'm just too weak, or the bow's too powerful, or my technique's terrible. But I've tried to follow his instruction. Please check him out, he has got a very, very good channel. His latest video is actually a guide and tips video about fly fishing. I haven't watched that one yet, it just came through my feed this morning, so I'm gonna give that a watch. If it's as informative as the bow one, it'll be very good. Check him out, link to his channel in the video description. I also wanna give thanks to a UK company called Aardvark Archery. When I first got this bow, I tried to fire it on its side, it made the right balls of it, snapped the string. I sent it to them. They fixed it, they set it up properly for me, and it seems to be shooting pretty good. A tool is only as good as the person that's wielding it. And at the minute, I'm not very good. 
I am a tool, but I'm not very good at wielding this tool. I also want to thank Archery Supplies Direct, who made me this target up specially. It's 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters. Most of the ones you can get are 60 by 60, and this one's got extra thickness to account for the power of the bow. I just wish he told me that the arrows would still go through it, because as I say, I knackered two arrows on my first two goes, bang, into the wall, smashed them to bits. So far, I'm pleased with the gear. Get in. I did a lot of research before I actually bought it. I bought it second hand. And the 340 was regarded as a very, very good bow. They're no longer in production. I think they've been superseded by the 350. But um, apart from the ridiculously mad power, it's an excellent tool. And once I get used to using it properly, I'm going to be damned accurate with this. I just know it. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed my technique and think I'm absolutely awful at archery, please tell me what I'm doing wrong. I love to be told what I'm doing wrong, so next time I can do it right. You only learn by mistakes. Making mistakes isn't a crime. Not learning from mistakes is a crime. I like to learn from mine. So if you can teach me anything, I'll be most grateful. Now if you've enjoyed this video, you may enjoy some of my other videos. Oh, I've got hundreds on my channel. I just love making videos and if I can put something educational or something useful, tips, advice or anything in there, I like to do that as well. This one obviously has had no tips whatsoever because I'm just a total beginner at archery. As I progress, I may learn things that I'll share, but please don't think I'm any expert whatsoever. Although I did do quite well on that last round of five. Yeah! Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And ooh, yes! That is penetration. Jesus. Ugh. Let's go to work.